Hi, I'm Donna Wool from Nastasia.com. Hi, I'm Sarah from ReviewsbySarah.com. My daughter and I have been watching the Winter Games on TV. And we saw some really cute hats that we wanted to make. I'm going to show you the crochet version in this video. And go to my channel, Reviews by Sarah, for the loom knitted version. For the crochet version, I'm using two skeins of Lion Brand's Hometown Super Bulky Weight Yarn and an N hook. To begin, chain 26. Make one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each stitch across. At the end, chain one and turn your work. Now, normally we'd insert our hook under the top loops, but with half double crochet stitches, there's also a front ridge loop. We're going to insert our hook under one of these front ridge loops and make our half double crochet stitches. Remember, each row has 25 half double crochet stitches on it, or 20 if it's for a young child, so it's important to count every stitch, especially since we're not putting our hook where we normally do. At the end of every row, chain one and turn. You can see how this forms a chain that looks like a knit stitch. Continue with making half double crochet stitches on your next row. Before you get too far along, be sure to measure your work. For the adult, the width is about 14 inches. And for a small child, the width is about 11 inches. Continue for a total of 22 rows for an older child or an adult, and about 19 rows for a small child. If you need to, you can always add or subtract rows. After you are finished, cut your yarn about 30 inches from the end, and finish your work like this. Use this long yarn end and a yarn needle to sew the seam together like this. Then continue using the same yarn, and this time go around the top edge, taking medium-sized stitches. We'll be gathering this top edge together to close up the hole on the top of the hat. Once you've gone around the entire top, pull your yarn tightly to close up that hole. Use your needle to take a few extra stitches on the top to really secure everything in place. Then push your needle and yarn through the center and inside of the hat where you can weave in the end and then cut it off. You can use pre-made labels or patches for the front of your hat and sew them on. And check out my daughter's video on how to make the cute pom-pom on top. Please like and comment on this video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, Reviews by Sarah. And visit my website at Nastasia.com.